This tutorial explains how to convert a two-dimensional mesh, into a three-dimensional solid, or shell element model, by using the extrude, revolve, or loft tools in Lisa. You have to be, in the select faces mode, when using these tools. Line elements, will be extruded into shells. Select a profile of line elements. Then click the extrude tool button. Select the direction along which to make the extrusion. Specify the length of the extrusion. And the number of element subdivisions. Shell elements, can be extruded into solid elements, to create a mixed element model. Plain continuum elements, will be extruded into solid elements. Select a profile of plain continuum elements. Then call the extrude command, to create a solid element mesh. The faces of solid elements, can be used to create further extrusions. Line elements, will be revolved into shells. Select a profile of line elements. Then click the Revolve Tool button. Select the axis of revolution. Specify the angle for the revolved shell. And the number of element subdivisions. Plain continuum elements, will be revolved into solid elements. Select a profile of plain continuum elements. Then call the Revolve command to create a solid element mesh. If any nodes of the two-dimensional profile, are positioned on the axis of revolution, the revolve command will create badly shaped elements, at the axis of revolution. For example, this profile of continuum elements, has an edge lying on the axis of revolution. If this was revolved into solid elements, the elements at the axis of revolution, look like wedges, instead of cubes, which is what hexahedron elements should look like. To repair this problem, first run the merge nearby nodes command to eliminate overlapping nodes. This causes the wedge-shaped hexahedrons, to collapse. Then use the command to correct the collapsed elements. It will convert the collapsed hexahedrons, into wedges. It will report, the number of elements that were repaired. The loft tool can be used to create tapered solids. To use this tool, you will need two similar mesh profiles, of different sizes, with a distance between them. The nodal patterns must be similar, even if their sizes are not. Select the first profile. Then call the loft command. Specify the number of element subdivisions. The node number on the first profile. And the corresponding node number on the second profile. The volume between the two mesh profiles, will now be filled with solid elements. This ends the tutorial on using the extrude, revolve, and loft commands in Lisa. Please view the tutorials on mesh refinement, and applying loads, or constraints.